Fashion Forward Dolls and my Fashion Forward Dudes. How y'all doing? Welcome to another Coco's Couture Closet, home of all the trendy tips for plus size hips. I am Coco, and this is my closet. 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 If you are new here, hello, loves. I am so happy you decided to stop by. Please stick around, like, comment, and subscribe, and become one of Coco's curvy fashion for a thousand dudes. And if you're already a subscriber, mwah, it's great to be back here with you in the couture closet. Now, whether you are a new subby or an old subby, hit that bell below, guys. Pound it so that when I upload a new video, you can be the first to know, so you can be the first to watch. Yes, honey, yes. And make sure you all follow me on all of my social media platforms. I am Dr. Coco underscore curves on both Instagram and TikTok, and I am Miss Perfect 1988 on Snapchat. So you guys, I want to come on camera real quick and tell you about this hair, honey. Yes, I wanted to come on camera and tell you all about my new look that I'm gonna be rocking for the next couple of weeks. So I was contacted by a company called Sumber Hair, and Sumber asked me if they could send us over a UPAR human hair wig to review, to style, review, and talk to you guys all about it. So that's what I'm here to do today. So this wig is a 18 inch U part wig. Now um, I'm gonna give you all the uh, information on the wig below in the description box, but also I'm gonna give it to you per Amazon because that's where you're gonna go if you wanna purchase. So this wig is called the Somber Wigs one by four U par for black women yakky straight wig virgin human hair lace wig middle part 150 um density brazilian 18 inch kinky straight natural color so again this is a U part wig which means that i have a leave out up here um uh, it's considered the color natural so i would agree i would say that this is like natural hair color and the texture is like natural hair texture when i first took this out of the box it was quite poofy um you guys will see a insert of exactly what the hair looked like straight out of the box um before i did what i did to the hair um again it was poofy but it did look very much like natural uh black hair uh it really did i felt like it looked like hair uh after you wash and blow dry it is what it looked like before you apply any heat to it that's what the natural state of this wig was it also had uh some waves in it in it in it to give it more texture and body and density and i do feel like this is a very dense and full wig i feel like if you're someone who gets a wig pattern with the uh thought that okay once i'm finished with that pattern i can just straighten it and wear it straight that this is not the wig for you i feel like this is the perfect wig for my girls that are looking for a wig to match their own texture of hair to match like a leave out or you know if they're trying to do like an up down style something that's going to match their own texture of hair for black women i feel like this is perfect it's so freaking soft you guys so soft i was able to rub my fingers through it there was very minimal shedding very minimal shedding and it took heat like a champ because y'all i put some heat to this wig because i was determined to get this wig to lay flatter than it already was i said okay if i can't get it to lay bone straight then at least i want to get it to look like uh black hair when it's permed so i feel like um this is the state of what my hair um i consider myself what a 4c uh, texture of hair i feel like this is what 4c hair looks like when it is permed um i feel like this is a very good quality if you look really close you can still see kind of the waves in it because this hair was not gonna come bone straight but it was so like luxurious and soft that I had to give it a try, um, you know, and I'm very glad that I did and that I decided to still wear it even though it was in a style that I'm not particularly used to. Um, putting in the U-part was super easy because there's combs all over here, all uh, over the head. You have a comb here, a comb here, you have a comb here, 
you have two combs here at the temples and you also have a comb for securing in the back you have back clamps which shows all you again these are things you're going to see in the video when i um do the demonstration of the entire wig again this is by somber hair this is the box that it comes in opens like so and you open it and um this is the, the unit and it came with some additional, uh, like an additional band so that you could tighten and loosen it. So that's always good. I don't use those, but it's nice to have for people who actually make wigs. It also came with this. I don't really wear wig caps this color at all, um, but who knows, maybe when um, I wear my 613 wigs, this will come in handy. So I do hold on to those. I hold on to these as well because every now and then I try to, you know, make my own wig or whatever. So um, this is the unit again. So as you can see, it's kind of like a kinky tight wave pattern. It almost looks like braids that have been taken down. So again, this is a U-part unit. So you have your U part here. This is 100% human hair. Uh, there is no lace here. It's everything is done on the cap. So you have several combs. You have combs right here on the side, which are perfect because I usually put uh, barbie pins right there. So that's perfect. You have two more that will go like on your temples. So that's perfect for securing. And then you have one in the back to secure it in place, but you also have adjustments, adjusters and adjustments here um, to, you know, even further secure the hair in place. And this is the hair. Again, it looks like real, like um, real um, African-American hair, honestly. Uh, as far as the kink and the curl is concerned, it's very soft. Um, I'm getting very minimal shedding so far, which is good. Um, there's no smell or anything like that. And then it has this band, which I'm going to cut. They just put this here uh, for the purpose of the U part and then the part here. Uh, you have uh, clamps in the back where you can make the wig smaller because the wig is actually a little big for my head and I have a big head. So I consider this to be very big head friendly um, because it was actually a bit big on me. It off The wig also came with a pack of adjustments that you can sew into the wig to make the wig even tighter, but I usually never use those. And so I just wanted to mention that it came with that. Um, when you open the wig box, it just, it looks like this. Um, very standard packaging. Um, this is the logo Sunbur Hair and on the back it gives you some wig care um you know pieces of information tidbits so they say that the wide tooth comb is highly recommended and use hand as comb to prevent tangling i feel like it was very easy for me to use my hands as a comb for this and guess what you guys this ships prime yes this ships prime right now i'm in the midwest and if i was to order it today i could have this by friday here's the catch though they only have five of these left in stock so if you guys want this wig you need to go to the description box below asap use the amazon link i'm also going to have this link in my amazon store which will be in the description box below i'm going to have the information for all of the uh somber um instagram youtube you know facebook all of these social media platforms that somber has available i'm going to also have those listed in the description box below all in all i think this is a super cute wig i'm gonna go ahead and turn around so you guys can get a look at the back of the wig you all see how soft it like it's so soft i can rub my fingers through this so easily and it's very full it's definitely i would definitely say that this is 150 percent density absolutely i feel like this is the dream you part wig for a natural girls say um you're a natural girl and you're looking for more volume for your hair you know 
um, or you're a natural girl and you're not trying to, you know, put any heat to your hair. So you want to have a wig that can blend with your leave out without having to apply heat to your leave out. I feel like this is perfect. I did apply some heat to my leave out because I was looking for a straighter look. And then I also um, used a curl wand for the first time. Um, I used the curl wand on here. And when I say that this thing, this, uh, unit eats heat like a champ, it eats heat like a champ. It didn't sizzle. It didn't melt. It didn't give me any signs that this was like blended hair. It very much acted as a hundred percent human hair and i love it i love it this is definitely what i would consider a work wig um i definitely am going to have this in my immediate grab and goes uh for work and even for like taking trips to the you know mall i mean to the walmart and you know running errands for the day i wouldn't so much consider this as a glam wig um uh, just because it's giving me more of the natural vibe as far as um um the way that the wig is sitting and the way that the wig is behaving it says that it's a virgin human hair lace wig middle part now there's no lace on this wig the wig is it's not a lace front it's not a lace wig on the sides or anything there's no lace on this wig um it's specifically on a cap um, but it's very well constructed. So maybe that might have been a typo or a misprint or something, but it's not a lace wig. It's definitely a dome cap wig, uh, but it's great quality. And for $119.90 for 18 inches of this hair, I feel like it's definitely a steal. So I just want to come on camera, show you guys my new do. Um, I hope you all like it. Comment down below what you guys think of this hair. If you feel like the natural look is what I should be leaning more towards. Or, you know, if you all like to see me in big glam curls or short bobs or, you know, bone straight hair. Let me know your favorite Coco hair color and hairstyle. And until next time, thank you to Somber Hair for sending over this unit for me to review. Hopefully, we'll be working together again soon. Shout out to all my couture cuties. And like I always say, follow me on all of my social media platforms. I am Dr. Coco underscore Curves on both Instagram and TikTok and Miss Perfect 1988 on Snapchat. And like I always say, Bring your mama, bring your sister, bring your auntie, bring your cousin, bring your gay uncle, baby. Hell, bring your baby, because we got room. And there is always room for curves in Coco's Couture Closet. I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Bye, guys.